going to talk about Arkhamoto, the fun utility vehicle. Let's have some fun riding the stock to the moon. This is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment only. Arkhamoto is the fun utility vehicle stock that I'm adding to my hot stock list. You can get the full list at the end of this video. On that list, I've made a video for every stock on that list. So if you want to get the lowdown on every stock in that list, go to the end of this video. Arkhamoto has built a three-wheeled motorcycle that actually functions more like a, a car. And they have different models and makes depending on what you want to use it for. I think this definitely has a place in the electric vehicle market. And that place is for short haul traveling. Uh, when you need to go to the neighborhood store, you need to pick up something. It's, it's very good for short trips where you don't need to waste all the fuel and, and all the expense of operating a full-bodied vehicle. For most of the models that have a roll bar over the top of it, and it actually is fairly enclosed, but has open side doors, but you can get side doors on it if you want. As you see, it's a, it's a very flexible thing. When you're enclosed like that, a lot of states will not require you to wear a helmet. I think in, in Washington, they do not they do require you to wear a helmet whereas in Oregon which is where the Arkhamoto is made they do not require you to wear a helmet their fun utility vehicles are delivered in California Washington Oregon and Florida <clears throat> with more states sure to come online i think eventually they want to move into Europe and move into Asia uh, Europe has such narrow streets that the, the, the compactness of the vehicle will be much appreciated. And Asia has such a large population that is competing for the roads that they need all the space they can get. So it, it's a very practical uh, sort of vehicle for those sorts of situations. Mass production is coming online in 2021 more so, and they eventually want to be producing 50,000 units by 2023. They've hired Sandy Munro, who's an expert automotive consultant, uh, to streamline their process and make it more profitable. Right now, most of their vehicles cost $17,900, and they hope to get it streamlined to the point where they can sell them for a little over $12,000, which will, which will make it take off a lot. And they will fulfill a nice place or a nice niche uh, in the electric vehicle market that can be sustained on a long-term basis. It's a very safe vehicle as they employ a double seat belt which holds you securely uh, in the vehicle. Uh, the person riding in it and uh, you can have a driver and a passenger uh, has to wear these uh, double seat belts uh, which makes it very safe. They have different types of vehicles that are used for different purposes. For instance, they have the rapid responder unit, uh, which is used for emergency services. Uh, the sort of situation where this is like ideal is for like campus security uh, services, uh, maybe fire departments and police departments in some situations uh, for doing in-city patrols and th that sort of thing. They outfit these rapid responder units with sirens and lights and the whole business, so it, it looks very official uh, and very rapid responder-like. Another model they have, they call the Deliverator. Uh, it's uh, meant to deliver packages like from Amazon. Uh, that would be the typical thing, shopping uh, uh, and grocery uh, cart kinds of things would be ideal for uh, delivery in these sorts of things. They have a deliverator that has a, a separate uh, uh, storage compartment in back of the driver, and then they have another 
deliverator that has more of a flat bed and, and has extra capacity for carrying items. The deliverator with extra capacity, they call their flatbed model. Then they have the Roadster model, which is an open air uh, model without the roll bars, which is more like a motorcycle. Similar to Tesla, you order your fun utility vehicle on the internet. Uh, your fun utility vehicle that you order on the internet will be delivered by DHL Global Forwarding and it's delivered to your home for your convenience. They recently bought a company for $10 million that that makes the two front wheels tilt. Now, these fun vehicles, you have two uh, front wheels, and that is where the uh, engines operate off of. And these two front wheels with, these, uh, with this tilting wheel configuration they will they will lean with the curves as you go to the left and as you go to the right. And so uh, this is something new, and it will be a new model, which they haven't developed yet, uh, but uh, which sounds like it's, it's going to be pretty simple to add to their, their lineup. Uh, you can also, I think you can also get these uh, tilting wheels. You can buy th them separately to retrofit your Harley, so that you have two front wheels that tilt, uh, which makes it safer. Um, and especially for older drivers, uh, you don't have to balance as much. You have the two front wheels. You're, you're less likely uh, to skid. So for older drivers that still want the open air uh, feel of a motorcycle, they can retrofit their, their Harleys. And they've been selling this uh, for some time. And they just recently sold their Tilting Wheel Corporation uh, to uh, to Arkimoto, and it's it's going to be a new model, which which will add some excitement to the product. I've heard that in the past they had for, like 4,500 uh, pre-orders, but I haven't heard that a, a figure updated recently. They are interested in the vehicles being self-driving. And it's fascinating to hear their CEO recently talk about this. And what he says is that it's much easier to have an empty vehicle be self-driving than to have people in the car and have it be self-driving. I guess when there's people in the car, you can't, if the car got confused, you can't pull the car off to the side and have it turn on the blinkers and wait for an operator uh, to figure the situation out and, and direct the car what to do, which you can do when, when the car is empty. So his vision is, is that they could have like rental centers and they're getting some third parties uh, to be rental centers and they're going to have some rental centers of their own or at least that's their intention. And they would rent it out to the person and the person would drive it to their destination but then they could the car could be programmed to return back to the rental uh, center uh, which is uh, very interesting uh, that it seems that it's ultimately uh, very much more possible to have an empty car return uh, where someone on the computer oversees it and, and sees that it gets back to the rental center, for an example. These vehicles uh, are admittedly for short range travel. Uh, that's their ideal use. And they have about 100 miles of range uh, when you get on the highway, they, they can be taken on the highway because they'll do 75 miles an hour. Uh, so if you had to go on the highway, uh, you could do that. Uh, but it's, it's not really recommended because uh, your range drops dramatically when you have to go uh, high speeds with this. These vehicles have 80 horsepower and they're pretty stable and so they they stay upright and the, so the weight isn't really a, a problem because they do stay upright uh, and they they typically weigh about 1300 pounds when we look at the chart on arkimoto we can see that it has a 615 million uh, market cap 
Uh, they IPO'd in September of 2017, and they've grown their staff uh, to 77 employees, which has tripled the number of employees that they began with. When we look at the chart, we see that the price right now is around 17. It hit like $36 in February of uh, 2021. So it's literally selling for half price uh, right now. Uh, this is a, a, a high growth stock. Uh, high growth typically is high risk, uh, and it's a heavily shorted stock. It has like 37% short interest. So this is a prime candidate to be a short squeeze when it starts going up, when they start mass producing, and could be a meme stock uh, potentially given uh, that high short uh, percentage of for 37%. I expect the short squeeze to easily double the price of the stock, if not triple it. So it is a small stock with lots of growth ahead and it could go worldwide in its, its niche place in the electric vehicle market. So it is a hot stock with lots of growth potential that I'm happy to add to my hot stock list to buy on a pullback. Every stock on this list has an in-depth video describing my belief why it should be on the high growth list. So you might want to check those out.